Buckle up friends, this week on launch, we've got a new custom report builder from our friends at QuickBooks. Automated bill pay workflows from Relay and quite possibly the biggest launch of the year just dropped. The IRS Tax Pro Portal. Can it live up to the hype? All that and more on this week's launch for accountants. Heads up if you haven't heard, video meetings are boring. It's the reason everybody always looks like they're doing something else. Listen, I couldn't help but notice last week when we met, it didn't seem like you were super engaged. Uh, mm. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah. Turns out the solution is to give those peepers something a little more interesting to look at. We got a tool here called Mm-hmm that will do just that. Now we featured this tool when they first launched last year. At the time they were Mac only. Well. They got a Windows version now and a new funding round. Are you ready? $100 million. <laughs> now there's a lot of startups trying to improve on incumbent video conferencing tools, but 100 million bucks, that makes you stop and take a look. Now what's, mm-hmm. Well, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Mainly it's designed around a side-by-side -side slide presentation format. It's got a bunch of built-in backgrounds, various silly foregrounds, but the meat and potatoes is a side-by-side -side presentation format with a bunch of flexibility. While it has its own built-in slide functionality, it will let you import traditional slides, resize yourself, even turn yourself into a translucent little Jedi that can fly around. The idea is to get away from the traditional screen share, which takes away from you and lets you put that big beautiful face up alongside those slides. It's something you'll notice I've always done on my screen shares because frankly, I just can't stand the thought of not having my face on screen. It's got some other features like mobile screen share and even the ability to pull an additional person into your video feed. How cool would that be? Cute, but I'm not gonna have my clients sign up for some weird video conferencing app just to see my fancy slides. Well, good news, my friend, this works with all the usual video conferencing apps. It's a tool that simply spices up your video feed. So rather than selecting your webcam as your video source, you select, mm-hmm, pretty neat. Like I mentioned at the top, this one's available now both on Mac OS and Windows, and it's free. So what do you got to lose? Head over to mm-hmm.app to learn more. The team over at Relay Financial just launched Relay Pro. It's a beefed up version of the Relay experience you're used to. It could be a good intermediate option for your clients who don't really need full-blown bill pay software, but could still benefit from taking their payments virtual. But first, what's a Relay? Relay is a small business bank that was designed with the advisor in mind. They're the only bank I know of with a dedicated team to support the people like us who are working alongside clients. Relay's got all the bells and whistles you want to simplify the accounting process from rock solid accounting integrations to an actual API. Imagine that from a bank. But I think you can boil it down to this. Here is Relay's founder, Yosef West. Yosef was the first employee at HubDoc, spent four years leading their marketing team, then launched Relay before internet banks were even cool. Yosef also follows me on Twitter and is an avid downhill skier. Wells Fargo's founder is a man named William Fargo. William, or Bill as his friends called him, was born in Pompeii, New York in 1818. The eldest of 12 children, his father fought in the War of 1812 and Bill was elected the mayor of Buffalo in 1862. Bill doesn't follow me on Twitter, but fancied himself a handy lawn bowler. Now, what is Relay Pro going to get you? This is an optional paid version of the Relay banking experience, and it lets you now set up single or multi-step bill pay approvals right inside the Relay app. So no companion app to train your client on, it's happening right alongside banking. Relay is gonna pull on the bills that you've entered into QBO or Zero and let you build out your own custom approval rules based on bill size, for example. I already use bill pay software with my clients. Why do I want bill pay in my banking? What, I wasn't listening, what? Why do I want bill pay in my banking? Ever put a client on a bill pay solution and felt like this is overkill? Ever thought this client really needs a simple bill pay solution, but this other tool is gonna be a bear to train them on? Oh yeah. This is gonna be much cheaper than a full-blown bill pay app, and it doesn't grow your client's tech stack. Seems like a win to me. So Relay Pro is 30 bucks a month before partner discounts. Learn more about this one over at RelayFi.com. Budgets are just like Everybody's got one, but nobody wants to maintain it. That's not. Personal finance tool here called Gather that has a different approach to the budgeting problem. Most importantly, one that people might actually do. It's simple, and you can create a shared account with your partner so everybody's on the same page. Early reviews look positive. A lot of people actually coming over from Mint, 
But what makes it different? Well, it's designed more like a productivity app than a traditional finance app. It's designed around Inbox Zero, or that sweet, sweet satisfaction of simply working through a queue. After connecting your accounts, you'll get an ongoing feed of banking activity. It's simply a matter of indicating the category and checking it off the list. What's more, you can drop comments onto each transaction if you need to coordinate with a partner, and the program will start auto-categorizing activity for you based on your responses. It borrows from one of my favorite things in the universe, GTD, or the Getting Things Done framework to organize your finances into a format you may actually enjoy working with. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, two things. First, I love budgeting. I've had a personal QuickBooks desktop enterprise file running since Cub Scouts. Second, why are you telling me about personal finance apps when I've got clients to serve? Oh, I, what's that? We're talking personal finance because it is a pain point that all of our clients share. Is there a paid service here to roll out, potentially? There hasn't been enough money in it in the past to make it worthwhile because the tools weren't automated enough, but we may see more of this in the future. If you've been paying attention, there's this little like quasi family office layer that's developing inside of accounting. I'm not talking about your mega wealthy clients, but there's a level just below that where people are starting to open up to the idea of pulling their accountant into more than just their business. This may be the kind of tool you could use to drive a service like that. So you can check this one out over at usegather.com. Right now it's in beta and it's free to take for a spin. Hang on to your butts. The IRS just launched a standalone portal for tax pros. They've been teasing this one for several years and the day has come. Whew. First, the IRS became nice. Now they're getting modern. Uh, Miss Stratford? Come in, Mr. Griffin. Don't be nervous. The IRS is much kinder and gentler than we used to be. You smell nice. What? Now let's start with some expectation setting. We are talking about the IRS, the same group that has delayed tax return processing this year due to a lack of printer ink. But you know what? We're all having a year. So let's cut them some slack. Now to create a tax pro account, all you need is a CAF number and a US address. Right now, it'll let you do two things basically, submit a power of attorney and tax information authorizations, but not via the forms that we're used to. You actually walk through a process in the portal to create the authorization and then send it to a client for e-signature before it's submitted to the IRS. Why would you wanna use the IRS for e-signatures? I don't know. Now at the moment, it only supports limited parts of these forms. And that's it. That's the portal. A couple other notes here. The portal has hours. It's open Monday through Saturday from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern. And Sunday from 10 to midnight. So if you visit the site, nobody's there. Just wait a few minutes and they may be back. So joking aside, bravo to the IRS for getting this done. Looking forward to some sweet sweet updates we can feature on launch in the coming months. Imagine that, updates on an IRS portal. QuickBooks has been teasing custom reports for a while, and guess what? We got them. It seems pretty good. Now, if you're a regular old Simple Start, Essentials, or Plus user, no custom reports for you. But if you're in the Advanced Club, when you navigate to the Reports tab, you should see a Create New Report button. It sounds like this is still rolling out to some people, so you may not see it yet, but it should be on the way. The report looks to cover all the things you'd wanna see, from invoices to customers' to checks, down to the nitty gritty line item detail, you can sort, filter, group, and even subgroup the line items to tailor this to what you want to see. You can choose a specific type of transaction to build your report, such as invoices or payments, or you can choose to see data from the individual lines on your sales and purchases instead. So it's gonna save it into your custom reports, but it only works with advanced. So if you wanted to actually use this custom reporting across your client base, looks like you out of luck. Now, nonetheless, it looks pretty slick. So to learn more about this one, check out our link to the Intuit blog. Do you have a chat bot on your website? Most of us don't, but it can be a great way to capture more information about your leads. And if you haven't looked at bots lately, they've gotten a lot better. 
Case in point, check out form to chatbot. Okay, now do, do the overlay. Yep. Uh-huh, yeah, form to chatbot.com, et cetera. Okay, so this one, it takes a web form and makes a chatbot out of it, a Google form to be specific. So if you can design a Google form, you can create a chatbot. Wow, that's really easy, Jason. I know, right? But you know what makes it doubly smart? The fact that it's built on Google Forms means you can automate the ever-loving out of it using the Google Suite and everything that integrates with it, like Zapier. So is there something simple you can ask the people on your website, like want to join our free newsletter or download this little ebook about ERCs. Give a chatbot a try. See if anyone uses it. This is probably the lowest friction chatbot tool I've seen. To learn more about this one, head over to form2chatbot.com. Exciting week, team. Hey, if you're enjoying this and want to connect, follow me over on Twitter at jstats. CPA, where I drop my thoughts on accounting tech, helpful tips, and occasionally give away sets of luggage. Until next week. Zaps, gonna require hopping in and doing that in every single zap. It's a big pain in the neck. It isn't Pete from Accounts Payable. It's a bit of software that runs. Did Jim know about this too? Let's pull him in on this Zoom we're doing. Let's talk about these robots that are gonna put Kevin out of a job.